In our video entitled, How to Install Linux on Windows 10 Pro, you'll find the link in the description below, we showed you how to install an installation of Ubuntu. Starting at the 3 minute and 50 second mark of the video, we walked you through the initial setup wizard. In this video, we're going to assume you've done that. Now, we want to explore the things you should do first in Ubuntu. Looking at the desktop, by default, the dock which holds your favorite icons is locked on the left side of the screen. The first thing you should do is hover your mouse over each icon which will reveal the name of the app. In our example, we have apps at the bottom which are not there by default. Let's look at how we can remove a favorite if we no longer want it on the dock. Simply right click on the icon and choose Remove from Favorites. Later in the video, we'll put the screen capture back on the dock. Next, notice the down arrow in the upper right hand corner. Click it and a drop down menu appears. This menu shows how you're connected, wired or wireless. It shows a shortcut to settings and then ways to power down your Linux machine. You might take note that I'm running Ubuntu as a virtual machine. If you run it off a DVD or as a normal install on a computer, you may not see all the options, for instance, suspend. Also at the top, if you click on the date and time, you'll see a drop-down calendar and you can move from month to month and day to day. Moving on, in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, we find nine dots, and our mouse tells us that is where we find our applications. Clicking on the dots, our first menu of applications appears. Notice on the right, there are two vertical dots. They indicate the number of application menus. If we click on the bottom dot, the rest of our applications appear. In Applications, one of the first places you should look when running Ubuntu for the first time is the Utilities folder. Inside, you'll find many useful apps like a calculator and disk usage. Clicking on that, you can see the size of the hard drive I'm using and how much free space I have. There are lots more apps like Fonts and Help. This is where you should look around. In this case, we're going to go to Screenshot. I want to right click and add it to the favorites again. Let's see how that app works. When we click on it, a new window appears with a variety of choices. We can grab the whole screen, the current window, or we can choose just an area. We can show the pointer or not show it. We can also set a timer. Mine is set to five seconds. So when I click Take Screenshot, nothing happens for five seconds. Once the screenshot is taken, another window appears and asks us where we want to save the screenshot. By default, the Pictures folder is selected, but we can click on the menu and choose another location. We could also rename the screenshot if we so desire. In this case, I'm saving the screenshot to Pictures. Now to go find it, we go to our Files icon and open it. Clicking on Pictures, we see our screenshot. I have a few other screenshots there from earlier. You can see those also. Next, let's look at how easily we can change the desktop picture. Just right click on an open area of the desktop and then choose Change Background. Pick the background you want and it will change. Finally, you should take a look at the settings menu. We're not going to go over all the settings in this video. We'll have another video for that. Besides, if this is your first time using Ubuntu, you don't want to get bogged down in settings. Just take a quick look. I will point out appearance where you can change the size of your icons and you can auto hide the dock 
if you so desire. You can also move the dock to the bottom of the screen or to the right side, once again, whichever you prefer. For now, just have a look around the various settings. Thanks for watching today. That's it for this video. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified. Thanks.